little bit more about you. Well, again, Bill Cohen is the president and principal, creative principal at iTech Entertainment. iTech Entertainment is a theme park design company. That's the short version. What we like to consider ourselves as entertainment designers. What you're going to see playing behind me, so you can watch that instead of me. It's just a sample reel of the kind of media that we use at iTech Entertainment. Traditionally, we're guys that come from the Disney Universal corporate mold. You know, guys that create theme parks, attractions, ride shows, uh, environments. But the product of what iTech Entertainment does and what we try, what we sell, is a guest experience. So while there's architecture, there's ride shows, games restaurants, retail environments. What we are developing primarily is a guest experience. That's the entertainment part of what we do. So the guest experience is our product. We have to develop all those other great things to create the entertainment and the experience. And for some time, way before me, uh, theme parks were designed with pencils. You know, we just drew things. Drew neat plans. We created characters. We drew rides the hard way. Right? It became a very labor-intensive process. So over the course of time, this is a 23-year-old company, iTech Entertainment, consulting back to Disney, Universal Studios, and people around the world, even small independent developers, we began to look for ways to communicate what we were doing. What was our guest experience? Rather than just doing thousands of storyboard sketches, the old traditional movie way, we started looking at some ways to begin to model what we were doing. Remember that we work all over the world. So I'm standing in front of people year-round, 90% of which I can't speak to, because I don't understand the language, I don't understand what I'm saying. I don't have to talk very much if we can present work like this. So uh, digital media began for us as a presentation tool. We're just going to show off what we're doing. right? communicating to people that really don't understand what we're saying and clearly don't understand how to develop a theme park attraction. There's people around the world that are willing to spend money to import from the West, from the United States, theme park creators and designers because we do the best ones. The challenge is, is mostly a cultural challenge. We tend to overcome it if we can present things that they can see, three dimension, moving, and with some level of reality as to what the ride show or entertainment piece will be. So we use it as a presentation tool. The evolution of digital media at our company is now where we create documents. We design documents that go to the field, come from the models we build. Remember, we used to build these really neat presentations. Now those presentations evolve to scalable engineered drawings that go to the field give an indication of how helpful that is to us, it requires a third of the numbers of people we used to have. One third. We used to have 120 people in our company, there's 35. <laughs> Not a great thing for employment, but the reality is we have fewer guys drawing little details, more people coming out of school with some skills to program and to do some digital media that can pick up our entertainment requirements. Right? So ultimately what we're doing now building models and cutting these models up and issuing those documents to the field. Another advantage to that is, traditionally we would bid documents. The bids would come in with a range of 20% high and low in price. When we do it in this method, they're coming in with 5% differences. That's how much more the bidders understand what we're doing because we model everything we do. If a bidder has a question about what's behind that set or where that ride is in the system, we just shoot them a little digital model and send it to them, or shoot snapshots all the way around it, because we have a model. So digital, to us, is not only our current operation, but is clearly the future. We will never be without storyboard artists, good illustrators, and great designers that still use a pencil. The product of what theme park designers are using, doing now, is this kind of information, and it's this way for a lot of reasons, not the least of which is just efficiency. Types of students, types of workers we need when we hire uh, are generally people that have come up and learned a bit of modeling, learned a bit of digital media production, film guys. They don't necessarily have to have an architecture degree, but can you imagine if I get an architect 
that's got a you know a supplementary degree in some modeling is worth far more to me than just an architect or just a modeler. So where we have a deficiency, there's plenty of kids that come out of school that can model. There's not many that can come out that understand design. So we would we I like what Jim said this morning about combining the arts and resulting in, a, in, a, in a, an employee that understands creative environments but can put it together in a virtual environment. That's us.